So we are back in Peanut Gallery. We're talking about this year's Survivor Series. I'm going to give it a full thumbs up. I'm going to give it a thumbs up as well. It was almost two. I would uh, say... It wasn't really... No, the only the only issue that I had with the show itself was pacing, but we'll get to that here in a second. Right. But let's talk about our first match, which was the Women's War Games match when Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, Asuka, Mia Yim, and Bianca Belair took on Rhea Ripley, Nikki Cross, and all members of Damage Control. Right. Uh, so, with this being said, this is not a traditional Survivor Series match. It was a War Games match, so you had the competitors come in in a particular order. Right. So, Bianca Belair and Dakota Kai started, and then it was Io Sky, Asuka, Nikki Cross, Alexa Bliss, Bailey, Mia Yim, Rhea Ripley, and finally, obviously, the returning Becky Lynch. Mm -hmm. Overall, I'm going to give this match a full thumbs yeah, up. it was pretty the good. The only issue that I had is that where do you go now with Bianca right. and the Raw Women's Champion? I mean, they have a very strong division mm -hmm. on Raw as it relates to the women, but there's not like that clear front runner. And of any team that should have won, the heels should have won with a clear, decisive, this is your next woman to go after Bianca for the Royal Rumble. But, you know, again, you just don't... You, there, There's no reason to have that, though. Like, who who theoretically could it be? Ray Ripley. I think Ray Ripley is the, it would most, make, lo it would be the most logical choice. And it, it, um, wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense for Ray Ripley to enter into a program with Bianca Belair while she's in the middle with a program with... Mia, a, the, the with, whole Mia Yim thing should be happening in the first place. Well, it's happening. But I'm sorry, but Ray Ripley is your strongest heel women's competitor. She is constantly on TV. She's basically constantly winning. Well, unless, unless the unless this rivalry with AJ Styles and the OC also ended last night, then you which know. I don't. I want to say yes because I'm tired of it, but I know it's not right. You know they're gonna drag this out further, but you can't have her in a program with another individual who's not associated with OC. So. Is it is it just is it just weird that I just realized that they could have legitimately had the OC versus Judgment Day in a goddamn War Games match and it would have made total sense. Yeah, but they didn't. They didn't, and that's an issue. Why 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 was Mia Yim involved? Why were Mia Yim and Ray Ripley involved in this match at all? Other than those two going after each right. other, there's no other association. Right. So it just didn't make any sense. Now, Becky coming back is cool, but once again, right. you kind of put yourself in this place where is Bianca going to take on Bailey again? Like, I don't, don't. want... I, I, I think it's going to come from within. I think, I think, you, it's do you think, do you think Becky might turn heel and go know. after Bianca we again? Don't, we don't know. I don't know. It I don't, I don't be, like, I don't like this weird indecisiveness be, of the women's division. Bliss as well. I mean, you just never know. Maybe. I don't know. Um, it was a leg drop off of the top of the cage for Becky Lynch to win. It was a great opener. I liked it. Gets a full thumbs up from me. Mm -hmm. Other than like those weird discrepancies, that's the really only big thing here. Mm -hmm. Is just it's just really rivalry. The women worked really hard, and you know at the end of the day, it was a very good match. Yeah.